Let's get right into your Zapier account limits. The plan you're on will determine whether you have access to premium third-party apps, multi-step zaps, and other features that'll help you build up more complex workflows. Zapier plans also have task limits. Whichever plan you're on determines the number of tasks you have available to use. Remember, each action your zap completes successfully counts as a task. When you approach that limit, you'll get an alert. So if you need to automate a large number of processes, make sure you're on a plan that will accommodate those tasks. When you're creating your zaps, watch out for something we like to call zap loops. Zaps can get stuck in a loop when they run over and over again from a single trigger event with no hard stop. For example, let's say you have a zap where a new contact is created in Google Contacts when a new one is added to Salesforce. But you also have another zap where a new contact is added in Salesforce for new contacts in Google Contacts. See what's happening there? This will cause a zap loop and it'll eat up all your tasks if you're not careful. So make sure your zaps don't accidentally trigger each other. This is where mapping your zaps and thinking through what you might create is really helpful. And finally, be aware of rate limits. If you're on a free plan, there may be some cases where a zap attempts to perform too many tasks in too short a time period. Zapier or another app may limit or throttle it. Our limit is 200 attempts every 10 minute window per zap. If your zap is throttled, you'll get an error message. And if it's Zapier doing the throttling, our name will show up on that message. These are some of the limitations you may encounter with your Zapier account. Remember, with every limitation, there's usually a solution. See you in the next lesson.